Weighing equipment, the world runs on weights and measures. Almost everything you touch and see is weighed. Balances.com offers a huge selection of precision weighing balances. In this video, we are going to be discussing two great weighing instruments. On the left is the A&D EK6100J. This scale has a maximum weighing capacity of 6,000 grams. On the right is the EK610J. This scale has a capacity of 600 grams and readability is to a hundredth of a gram versus the EJ6100 is only to a tenth of a gram. So basically you get one tenth the weighing capacity but ten times the readability. These balancers are legal for trade, class 2 approved digital scales. They can be used in commercial weighing applications like weighing precious metals at a pawn shop, leaf tobacco at a smoke shop, or many other situations where items are bought and sold by weight. Other uses include the science classroom, forensic science, industrial engineering, chemistry, and formulation. We have even sold the EK6100J to hospitals for weighing tissue removed during operations or for weighing breast implants. The electronic scales that are legal for trade must be properly labeled. So here, this is the EK610J. You'll notice it mark, the, the marking has the model number, the CC, which stands for Certificate of Conformance, the number, which is the 06054, and then you have an II with a circle, which means it's a legal for trade class 2 weigh-in device, maximum capacity, 600 grams. Then we have E is 0.1 and D is 0.01. So E is what it's approved for legal for trade, which means it's legal for trade to a tenth of a gram, and it displays to a hundredth of a gram. Then we have maximum um, divisions is 6,000 temperature range along with the serial number. So if you notice on the right hand side, this is the EJ610. So I wanted to just shut off this balance so you can make sure you see this. You'll notice the display has five diagonal lines that are silt screened right onto it. So this is the last digit is boxed all together. Since it's only legal for trade to a tenth of a gram. So if we turn this back on, you can see the balance and the readings here. So the last digit is boxed. And sometimes it's a little obscured to see, but that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, on the EK, this is the EK6100, the labeling, it's basically the same showing the model number, but this time the maximum capacity is 6,000 grams, E is equal to 1, D is equal to 0.1. So again, it's legal for trade to 1 gram, but displays to a tenth. And so on the <clears throat> scale itself, we can see that the last digit is boxed or has slashes across it. Um, so the scale has been evaluated by the National Type Evaluation Program to validate that the scale is legal for trade. Since D and E are not the same value, the last digit of the display is boxed. If you look at the screen's display, you'll notice the five diagonal silk screen lines printed. The bots markings cannot be removed and do slightly obscure your ability to read the last decimal place. Although the EK6100J increments in a tenth of a gram, it's only legal for trade to one gram. The National Conference of Weights and Measures issues the NTEP Certificate of Conformance upon successful completion of the evaluation process for the weighing device. Part of this testing requires them to put a calibration weight or, or a weight approximately 50% of the capacity 100,000 times on the platform. So only high quality scales. When I say high quality, I'm talking about well-engineered scales with um, 
the, the highest quality load cells gets, uh, can be approved for legal for trade. If the scale fails during the evaluation, the testing has to start all over again. Another part of the um, requirements for legal for trade is the scale must be locked out so you can't calibrate it. So if you notice here on the rear of the scale, there's a door. This door is to allow you to go in and press the button to perform calibration. So this door, if we look at it, has a little hole in it. And what weights and measures would do, once they come in and they look at the scale and perform calibration or you perform calibration, they're going to lock the scale out and then they place a wire through the rear of the scale and then they would crimp this with a lead, a piece of lead, they would crimp it so they know that you never can access the calibration. Sometimes also, um, well, they'll put a sticker. So like, for example, this is the state of Colorado seal. Sometimes they'll seal the back of the scale or on the side of the scale. But um, this is a weights and measures calibration uh, inspection for the state of Colorado. And then for another example, we have one here for New Jersey. And you'll see, they'll, they'll punch out the year of the scale, so they come back annually to re-inspect it. So that's one of the requirements for legal for trade. Another requirement is um, on the front, you'll notice this scale says the count-in feature is not legal for trade. That is a requirement. Uh, most scales that are legal for trade are not legal for trade in the parts counter mode. There's a few exceptions. So that has to remain on there, and that's part of the marking. Um, <clears throat> so if you're shopping uh, for, or one more thing I wanted to show you, they also use these pressure-sensitive um, stickers, and they'll put this on where the calibration door was. If you try to remove them, what will happen is the sticker will fall apart, and they'll know that you've tampered with it. So... Once weights and measures has put the scale into service, you don't want to fool around with it. They'll really, they'll be able to tell. Um, so if you're shopping for a watch and the jeweler offers you two watches with all the same features and, and same style, except one is waterproof and the other one isn't, which one do you select if both are the same price? Most would select the waterproof watch, but that doesn't mean you have to go swimming with your watch and get it wet. Well, the same scenario with these EK6100J and EK610J. You can purchase either of these scales for any way in application, even if you don't need legal for trade. So our point is the scale's legal for trade, but these are great balances even for the classroom um, and many other applications, like we mentioned, hospitals. We are precision way in balances, and... Uh, you can visit our website for more information. I just want to show you one more thing, too, that is very important. The rear of the scale has an RS-232 that I didn't mention, but that's just what we call a DIN connector. The RS-232, as stated, the RS-232 output is not functional. So if you buy the scale, you're not going to be able to connect it to a computer or an external display. So it's critical that you understand this is only a connector. It is non-active. Um, they did this because of the legal for trade application. There's also, um, this is the power jack. I wanted to show you the sprint bubbles right here. This is the lock-in bracket. And there's also here a door. On this door, this is for if you wanted to purchase the optional NICAD battery. So this is a NICAD battery here, you have to buy it from A and D, and it just slides right in. So, this is the same for both of these models in all of the EK series and EW series. So again, wearbalances.com. If you have any questions, visit our website or give us a call. Thank you for watching this video.